We're back in the beautiful Gothic city of Ghent, Belgium, and we continue now with our coverage of the World Gymnastics Championships on CBC. It all happens at the Flanders Sports Arena, and we move now to the individual all-around competition for the women. On the surface, Lori, this shapes up to be a battle between two gymnasts, those being Svetlana Horkina of Russia, the 1997 world champion. She won that championship in Lausanne, Switzerland. And then there's Andrea Raducan, the best gymnast from Romania. And this should be an interesting competition. They have the four top athletes seated together where they'll travel from event to event together and the judges can compare them one against the other. We're going to see two different styles at the top. The pixie-like charm from an Andrea Radican against the sophisticated elegance of a Svetlana Horkina. Now, Radican is very consistent, but when Horkina's on, she's red hot. Let's talk about the Canadian Kate Richardson, who is 15th all around at the Olympic Games in Sydney. Can she be better than that in Belgium? Well, Kate has been struggling from some back spasms and was a little bit inconsistent during the preliminaries. But today, she was stunning during warm-up and looks confident. And remember, she's only 17 years old, a lot younger than a Horkina and even a Raducan, so she has a long future ahead of her. Also competing for Canada will be Ashley Peckett of Mississauga, Ontario. These are her first world championships. Kate Richardson was Canada's top finisher at the Olympic Games, as we said, in 15th position. Only 17 years old. The women do two different vaults in the all-around competition. The first, Kate does a Yurchenko layout full. I really like how Kate is disciplined with her landing. She continually reinforces the correct landing technique. Bent knees, tight abdomen, arms out. Increases her chances for a stuck landing, and it's important for safety. 8-9, eight, 8-7, eight, the first vault. The women do two. They will be averaged for the final score on this apparatus. She looked a little anxious there. She was taking some last-minute cues from her coach, David Kenwright. She'll do a totally different style of vault. She'll come on forward, handspring front, pike with a half. A little stumble on the landing, but a very clean form in the air. We mentioned her back spasms. This is a vault that she hasn't been able to train only a couple times since she's been here. You can see she's a little off on her timing on the landing. Very high hopes for Kate Richardson. Her mark on the vault, 8.968. Eight, that's the average after an 8.95 second vault. 22-year-old Svetlana Horkina, all-around champion of the world in 1997. Those championships were held in Switzerland. She's back. The first vault is a tucked Horkina one named after her. Solid effort. In the team competition, she performed the more difficult vault here, and she missed both of her vaults. She's made an adjustment here. She's doing the simpler vault first, the tucked Horkina. I think it's a good choice. Much better result, obviously, than the team competition for Horkina. 9-2-1-2 to start on the vault. Has threatened to retire many times. Each time has come back almost stronger than before and has some sort of a spell over not only the fans, but also the judges. Tall and elegant, and it works for the great Russian gymnast. She has a very different style than the average gymnast. Take a look at this vault. It's also named after her. Same as the last one, but she adds another full twist. It's a one and a half. Amazing how she can get that to her feet. At five foot five, her technique and timing is so important. You see how high she blocks off that horse to get all of the rotations and twists around. Big second vault, nine, five, two, five, to average out at nine, three, six, eight. Good start for one of the favorites. This is 16-year-old Natalia Zigan-Shiva, the youngest of Horkina's teammates, and she actually beat Horkina at the all-around national championships in Russia. Since being here, she has showed some inconsistencies in practice in the team competition. This will be a test for her, starting on beam here. Solid so far by Canspring Layout. That is a requirement to acrobatic skills connected. She's coached by Viktor Gavrichenko, who also coached Elena Shushinova, who was the 1988 Olympic champion. And I see some similar styles. Take a look at this element. So difficult. Standing Arabian nails it right on. You can see her heel is taped. 
Quite often, gymnasts have heel bruises, especially on this event, taking so many hard landings on their feet. Two difficult jumps. She'll gain valuable bonus points. They're looking for 1.2 in bonus. And that there is a requirement, a hold element for at least two seconds. The tape heel that you referred to, Lori, this beam is unforgiving. Nice routine. Good solid start. Zig and Shiva making an impact early in her career. She was third all around at the European Championships. Those were held in Paris. Here's your required two acrobatic elements. Somewhat simple, but it meets the requirement. Clean and solid. But this is a big risky skill. The standing Arabian, outstanding. And a good score for Zygan Shiva, the young Russian, 9375 on the balance beam. Here is Ashley Packett of Canada, 17 years old, born and lives in Mississauga, coached by Alex Bard. She has a tough opening pass. Double back with a full twist. It's called a full and back out. And that's actually been upgraded in this new code from a D-level skill to an E-level skill. She'll get two tenths of bonus just with that pass. Combination of whips to a double pike. Good job. Alex told me how proud he is of her. She's come a long way and now is competing in this all-round final with some of the best gymnasts in the world. And worth mentioning that she comes from a good background, a good gym in Mississauga. Stella Ume, Stacy Galloway, all competitors for Canada on the international stage. Tremendous role models for Ashley. So you're taking a deep breath before this last pass, and it's a tough one, a combination front through to two and a half, and another punch front, good job. <laughs> nice routine. First World Championships for Ashley Peckett. She was second to Kate Richardson at the Canadian Championships. The whip backs in this pass make it more difficult. It's a back handspring with no hands. She does two into a double pike. There is Alex Bard, and he likes the routine. 885 for Ashley Peckett. Yeah, I cut my foot, kind of got stuck. <laughs> Danielle Hippolito of Brazil. Right away into her second tumbling pass. It's a double Arabian, another difficult pass, and she nails it. You know, there's been a lot of hype surrounding Hippolito in the past, but she's had a hard time duplicating what she does in practice on the competition floor. Everyone's waiting for her time to come. Has come under the influence of former Ukrainian coach Oleg Ostapenko, now coaching in Brazil, and he Coached the career of the 1996 Olympic champion Lilia Podkopayeva. He knows how to prepare a champion, and you're already seeing signs of it in this Brazilian team. She'll do a fourth tumbling pass. Trying to get that 1.2 in bonus, ending with a triple full all the way around. Fabulous routine. Wonder if the extra elements will pay dividends for Danielle Hippolito of Brazil. There was a lot in that routine. Yes, tremendous difficulty. Take a look here at the two and a half immediate punch front layout. Timing is key here. Great results. Nine, five, six, two. So Danielle Hippolito of Brazil first after the first rotation, followed by the two Russians, Zygan Shiva and Svetlana Horkina. Kate Richardson, 16th, Ashley Peckett, 20th. 
It is a city which comes alive at the core. There is affluence in ancient Ghent. Our coverage of a wealth of talent at the Gymnastics Worlds continues.